Hey you all, what's up? Welcome back to the vlog. We outside. Uh, we're outside, y'all. How about it snowing? This is the first snowfall of the year. Thanks. Because you put all this stuff that's in. And we're getting, we're getting ready to go into this um, restaurant downtown, downtown Cleveland called Primo. I think, or Yeah, Primo. It's um, African cuisine. We're gonna try some igusu soup if they have it. Hopefully they have it. Can you put? It's yeah, just put all my cards in there. I need to put my shoes on I'm and then the um. You said all your cards. Oh, I think they got fufu. Aya wants to try fufu. Say hi to the vlog, Aya. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. So yeah, I'm kind of excited. We I was supposed to come to watch the Browns game, but they still got a little bit of football going on in here. But I didn't even make it to watch the Browns game, and it's all okay. it's all good. The um, oh, is that the Steelers playing right now? Right. The Green Bay Packers? I don't know, but we going in here. See you on the inside. Alright y'all, we getting ready to, is this door locked? Oh, I'm pressing the wrong side. We getting ready to leave. It was okay in there, like, I don't know, they Instagram, their Instagram had me thinking it was something that it um, kind of wasn't. I ain't mad though. But anyway, we're getting ready to go see Dave Chappelle. He's got an untitled, untitled documentary and we're getting ready to go see it. 
I just need to change my shoes because we got to walk over to Rocket Mortgage, uh, the arena or whatever. Hold this, please. Change my daggone shoes and put on some flats because I'm not getting ready to walk up them daggone in a stadium all the way up the stairs. Y'all already know how that be. But yeah. yeah, I had a good time. I'm glad I came out tonight. We had uh, a few drinks. Well, I had a few. <laughs> I had a couple drinks, so you know, I'm alright. I'm feeling good or whatever. The food was okay in there. Like, Aya, how did you feel about the. Mm. Aya said that the. Uh, Aya said that it tastes like Americanized, Americanized African food, y'all. So yeah, the food food was definitely boxed. It tastes like it was boxed yam. Mm. And then the. Um, the soup that we had, we had lamb soup. The lamb was so tough. It was not tender at all, which is kind of upsetting because them them TV dinners we be getting from Trader Joe's, <laughs> girl, they be having um, lamb in there and that lamb be uh, tender as all get out. Mm -hmm. So anyway, yeah, I've already switched my shoes. I'm ready to go. You ready to go? Yep. It's a blanket back there. If you want to bring a blanket in yep, there. I'm about to they bring might, that. I don't know. They might not let you bring a blanket in there. What? Yeah, they be tripping, especially with this COVID. Give me this mask no, just in case man. I need this mask. You better find a mask. Y'all, I'm so excited to be able to actually go see Dave Chappelle. Like, Ooh. we're actually seeing Dave Chappelle in person. Well, it's his documentary, and then he's going to come out afterwards. But still, I'm going to see him for a little while in person. And you know, he don't come out that often. So when he come out, it's like, you know, the whole city got to come out. So I'm excited. Anyways, I'm not going to be able to show y'all because they're going to lock our phones. They got some type of device where they where they, your phones are locked or whatever. Y'all, I'm a little bit slizzered because now my um, words are took, starting like, to like... one shot. I had a drink and a shot of some type of cognac, Martell or something. So, get my phone. Get my camera. Okay, did you have something to say? <laughs> you got a lot to say. Girl. Are you ready? Girl, nothing. This dude finna walk us over to Rocket Mortgage Field. I'm ready to see Dave Chappelle. I'm ready to see Dave Chappelle, funny. too. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that my car is still here when we get back. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> this, it said two-hour parking right here. And he was like, but it's Sunday, though. So, really, on Sundays, they don't really be tripping. What? No, yeah, I mean, they don't really be tripping. Come better, on, let's go. Lying, I don't think they close. I don't know what time they close, but let's go. Yeah, it is so cold, but I'm excited. I can't remember the last time we actually been in here for any type of event, so I'm excited. Wow, it's only 34 degrees out here. You what? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's only 34 degrees. We need to vaccinate. Yeah. Oops. Excuse me. <laughs> Y'all, we. I, I'm just gonna have to go ahead on to get. You have to be I'm gonna have to go ahead on to get vaccinated. Cause how about we cannot get in here without proof of vaccination? And now he sent us down to the corner to get tested. And then what we gotta do? Wait 15 minutes. Not, I don't feel like getting tested. Please, come on. Bro. Come on. We gotta do it. We gotta do. It. We already bought the tickets. They ain't say that Where on the we website. Going? They did not say that Where on the website. We going? we going around the corner. Bro. We going <laughs> so are you going to get vaccinated now? No. You're so difficult. Why you got to be so difficult? Why are you so difficult? All right, we just got our COVID test. We're waiting on our results. The show started, it is 7.22. The show started at 7.00. Hey y'all, what's up? So the concert is over and I am like very tired. <laughs> I'm very tired, but since we weren't able to, we didn't, the concert or the documentary is like four hours long. Four hours, y'all. 
they took our phones and put them in like this yonder pack or something that you needed to um have like a big magnetic a very strong magnetic clip to unlock uh, it was like similar to those um those safety things that are in some stores on the clothes so you uh, to help prevent theft so yeah our phones were kind of well they were uh, not kind of they were locked up but i did want to like tell a little bit of what happened since i wasn't able to vlog on the inside um the documentary part and um just close out the vlog so the we were very excited to go see the um dave Chappelle show and everybody i feel like you got that vibe from everyone that was there like everyone was super excited to be there and like the vibe was really cool like even before you got into the show collectively and if you've seen when i did the 360 to show how many people were actually in the field house or in the stadium you could see it was like probably thousands of people i don't know it was, there were a lot of people there <laughs> there were a lot of people there and the energy that was in the place was amazing like you could just feel good energy and um so everyone was super excited to see dave Chappelle. so when dave Chappelle, when the first when the documentary first opened up it was the video of george floyd um being murdered by the police and um i don't know how he got access but we actually seen um the video of the the cop kneeling on his neck for like eight minutes uh, the video of this man screaming for his his deceased mother and um so like I said in the beginning, the energy was was very hyped, but very calm, very very endearing. I felt um, everyone was there to have a good time. They announced that the show was getting ready to start. Everyone's excited, and boom, we are watching a man be murdered right in front of us, and um, you could hear the audience weeping like we all were like i kind of covered my face because i didn't want to see i was like oh no are they gonna show the whole thing i was like no don't show us the whole oh gosh like i couldn't take it so i kind of covered my eyes and then my daughter she was crying too so that's how the show started and then um there was a lot of appearances i mean kevin hart tiffany haddish erica badu common chris tucker uh chris rock I don't know why I want to call Chris Rock Chris Tucker all the time, but Chris Rock was there uh, in it. Um, and it was just like a very, these comedians are the type of comedians that can put on a show, talk about what's going on in the world, joke about it a little bit, but still bring, still, still bring it to everyone's attention and that is just the vibe that i got and that's that's why i was so excited to even be able to go to the show yeah i'm trying to get ready I'm trying to get ready to i'm gonna put this mask on or whatever <laughs> but yeah <clears throat> Is that it? Is that it? All right, there it is. There it is. <laughs> oh, wow. Move my hair out the way. It's a little cold. Hmm. But, um, yeah, I'm still, I'm, I'm going to talk to y'all and I'm going to get ready to lay down. It's a little gloomy because I just have like one little light on and then or whatever. But yeah, it did. Uh, Dave Chappelle came out after the documentary was over and 
he came out and said some things and there's this uh, he made a transgender joke and i remember every word of it but it's just like you had to be there you had to be there i could repeat every word of it but it's not gonna be the same it's not gonna be the same as how he said it and um <laughs> so as he made that joke the audience was like oh man don't start day <laughs> don't start like we still want to see you so it was it was just funny but I, if 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 it's if the show comes to your city, I definitely recommend that you go see it. It's worth it. Um, and then we also got to see Bone Thugs and Harmony. So I don't know if y'all know about Bone Thugs and Harmony, but Bone Thugs and Harmony, when I was growing up in Cleveland, they were it. Okay, and I used to sneak and listen to. And let me tell you this. Okay, so we didn't have a television in my house until I was a teenager. We didn't watch TV. It was against our religion as Pentecostals. We didn't listen to the radio. If we did listen to the radio, it was to like gospel music because any other music was wicked. But in my spare time, when my mama wasn't around, or if I went over my cousin's house, my auntie Peach's house, we listened to Bone Thugs and Harmony, okay? In the car, we listened to Bone Thugs and Harmony. So I knew a, just about every word to all of their songs, just from sneaking and listening to it. And uh, <laughs> I, so, you know, I wouldn't have been able to go see them in concert because of how young I was and because it was against my religion. So to be able to like, see them in concert like do you know like when he, they said bone thugs and harmony was coming out i screamed and i mean i screamed to the top of my lungs my daughter was like who are they and i'm like yo you don't know bone thugs these are living legends like we're seeing everybody tonight like we're seeing everyone tonight are you serious right now we're seeing bone thugs and harmony dave Chappelle, chris rock Erica Badu comment you I'm like yo 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 sit back hey sit back and shut up and um I had my time like that was my time to shine I was like yo I'm so glad that I chose to come because I, I had I was a little doubtful at first when I was like an untitled documentary so we're gonna actually be sitting there watching something and, and it and when you watch it it's almost like vlog style it's almost like somebody's literally doing a point and shoot holding the camera. That's how the documentary is kind of filmed. But it's very interesting. It's very interesting. It was well put together. But yeah, when Bone Thugs and Harmony came out, I'm so glad I, I went ahead and got the tickets because the, here's where my doubt was. I don't want to go to a show and watch Dave Chappelle on, 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 on a vlog. I can do that on Netflix or what have you. So I was like, I don't really want to go, but I, I still ended up getting the tickets anyway. So I'm going to get the tickets anyway, because they said he's going to come out at the end. I'm thinking he's going to come out at the end and say, hey, y'all, thanks for coming. He came out and he he put on a little show. Like he said a little joke. You know, he said his trans. He had to get that transgender joke in there. <laughs> so he, he did. He came out, did his one, too. And then um, some there were some other comedians there. Very funny. I wish I had my phone so that way I can remember them because the the guy and the girl that we caught a, a glimpse of in the beginning was very funny. We were late to get in. As y'all see, we had to get that COVID shot. But um, once we did get in, yeah, that guy, um, there was a guy and a, a girl in the, in the, in the beginning that, that were hilarious. And I wish uh, I knew who they were. I don't really remember their names, but we did get a, get a glimpse of it. And, um, and, and I'm glad. All in all, I'm glad that I was able to have that experience, have that experience with my daughter. That was the first concert she ever had gone to um, <clears throat> in that style, like a first comedy concert that she'd ever gone to. So uh, there was a lot of memories that uh, happened and um, a lot of good things that happened that night. And um, I was grateful for it. But anyway, y'all, thanks for watching the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe all that good stuff because it's been real. And next, till next time, y'all be easy. Peace. <laughs>